As automakers rush to add more crossovers and SUVs to their lineups, they're starting to stretch the definition of what a crossover or an SUV is. Take this model right here. It's the entry-level Lexus UX200 subcompact. It's new for 2019, and Lexus calls it a luxury crossover for the modern urban explorer. While it does deliver on the luxury front in some ways, in others, it feels more like an economy car. If you like the design direction Lexus has taken with all of its sharp angles and edges, there's a good chance you'll like the look of the UX200 because it follows that theme and it builds upon it with some interesting, unique cues. This is an F-Sport version, which is Lexus's mid-level performance trim, and it has a different version of Lexus's signature spindle grille, twin-spoke 18-inch alloy wheels, and different bumpers. The UX200's taillights are just as dramatic as its massive front grille. It features 120 LEDs that run the width of the car, and it's a new look from Lexus that really makes it stand out when it's illuminated. There are also these miniature tail fin-like elements at the edges of the light bar. You also get the Lexus experience inside, as the UX has the same type of upscale materials and interfaces that you'd find in one of the brand's more expensive SUVs. S-Sport models offer this red and black color scheme, and the seats are finished in simulated leather upholstery that does a good job mimicking the real thing. Other F-Sport cues include a digital instrument panel with a movable section, an F-Sport steering wheel with shift paddles, and aluminum pedals. Lexus continues to evolve its remote touch multimedia system, and the UX incorporates some of these new features. Besides the familiar trackpad and buttons on the console, there are these new dials on the leading edge of the armrest for things like tuning and volume. The additional controls improve usability, but this remains one of the harder systems to use when you're driving because of this trackpad and how you have to interact with it and the screen. Apple CarPlay smartphone connectivity is standard, and while the apps look great on the dashboard widescreen display, it's not a touchscreen, so you still have to use the trackpad to navigate through the CarPlay interface. You get used to it after a while, but CarPlay is really designed for touchscreens, so it's a little more cumbersome than it could be. Even though the UX200's cabin looks nice enough for an entry luxury SUV, its snug accommodations don't make you think luxury. The F-Sport's front seats are comfortable for longer drives, but the back seat is pretty small with not a lot of extra space for adult passengers. If anything, it's more like a subcompact hatchback than one of its competitors like the BMW X1, which is considerably roomier inside. And if a serene, effortless driving experience is important to you, well, you've come to the wrong video. That's just not what the UX200 offers. It's powered by a 169 horsepower, two liter four cylinder engine that works with a continuously variable automatic transmission. The combination gets good gas mileage, it gets an EPA estimated 33 miles per gallon in combined driving, but the driving experience pays the price. Acceleration is sluggish, especially at highway speeds, where the engine makes more noise than passing power. And if you want to get all wheel drive, you have to step up to the UX250H hybrid because the UX200 is front drive only. The ride can feel choppy at times on the highway and firm in general. All models get 18 inch alloy wheels, but the F-Sport gets different springs and stabilizer bars for a sportier feel, according to Lexus. The problem though is that the bumpy ride doesn't make you feel like you're in a luxury car. Rather, it makes you feel like you're in an economy car. Even though certain aspects of the UX200 are luxurious, its small cabin and driving performance drag down the overall experience. A split personality isn't always a bad thing, but in this case, there's too much economy car and not enough luxury car in the UX. And with a price of around $35,000, that just doesn't work.